Welcome everyone to God in the Midst Sunday School Lesson, Get em Radio Sunday School Lesson. We welcome you and we praise God for you connecting in with us. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. And as always, we believe it is a day to praise the Lord. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all of your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, clothing us in our right minds, and giving us a reasonable portion of health and strength. Lord, we have the activities of our limbs and we have the regulation of our hearts. Dear Lord, we're able to just think and call upon your, your wonderful and marvelous name. Thank you, Lord, for, for, for doing this for us because we know if you didn't touch us last night and watch over us all night long and, and wake us up this morning, we wouldn't be here. We, so we just thank you, God. Now, Lord, we just ask you to just continue to be who you are, God and God all by yourself. Bless us this day as we study your Sunday school lesson. Anoint to fresh the Lord that we might not be just hearers of your word, but doers of your word. Touch us, the Heavenly Father, in a mighty and special way. Bless us, Lord, that some might be encouraged, that some might be strengthened this day, that some might even be saved. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for, your, for all of your many blessings, especially your darling son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, for the power of your Holy Spirit that works in each and every one of us that trust and believe in you. Now, Lord, bless this technology of Facebook and, and, and uh, conference call and the Internet and all of that, Lord. And then, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over that and all of your people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Thanks, everyone, for logging on today. Uh, my name is Pastor Mark McCoy uh, of New Harvest E Church, and we're going to be studying our lesson today coming from Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10, uh, starting at the first C. No, the... the um, the 10th to the 19th verse <clears throat> is is our key verses for today. But um, as I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, I've been um, playing the whole chapter. So we're going to uh, just play the whole chapter of, of, of 10. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a revelation was given to Daniel, who was called Belteshazzar. Its message was true, and it concerned a great war. The understanding of the message came to him in a vision. At that time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice food, no meat or wine touched my lips. And I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. On the 24th day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, the Tigris, I looked up and there before me was a man dressed in linen with a belt of fine gold from Euphaz around his waist. His body was like topaz, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision. Those who were with me did not see it, but such terror overwhelmed them that they fled and hid themselves. So I was left alone, gazing at this great vision. I had no strength left, my face turned deathly pale, and I was helpless. Then I heard him speaking, and as I listened to him, I fell into a deep sleep, my face to the ground. A hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. He said, Daniel, you who are highly esteemed, consider carefully the words I am about to speak to you and stand up. For I have now been sent to you. And when he said this to me, I stood up trembling. Then he continued, Do not be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me twenty-one days. Then... Michael, one of the chief princes, 
came to help me, because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future, for the vision concerns a time yet to come. While he was saying this to me, I bowed with my face toward the ground and was speechless. Then one who looked like a man touched my lips, and I opened my mouth and began to speak. I said to the one standing before me, I am overcome with anguish because of the vision, my lord, and I feel very weak. How can I, your servant, talk with you, my lord? My strength is gone, and I can hardly breathe. Again, the one who looked like a man touched me and gave me strength. Do not be afraid, you who are highly esteemed, he said. Peace, be strong now, be strong. When he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Speak, my lord, since you have given me strength. So he said, Do you know why I have come to you? Soon I will return to fight against the prince of Persia. And when I go, the prince of Greece will come. But first I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. No one supports me against them except Michael, your prince. Amen, amen. That is the entire chapter of Daniel chapter 10. Um, read from the... Bible Gateway in our the dramatization version. Amen. Amen. Um, our key verse comes from that verse 19. Uh, verse 19 says, O greatly beloved, fear not, peace unto thee. Be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou has strengthened me. Hallelujah. And today we're going to talk about having a strong faith. Having a strong faith. Uh, the key concept of this lesson of, uh, is to, as a child, child of God, to, to learn the significance of having a strong faith, um, which is a gift from God. Um, the, the, um, keys for kids, if you will, uh, is putting our faith in God helps us to get through even the most difficult circumstances. And as we look at this lesson today, our, our lesson facts, we're going to be trying to summarize Daniel encounter with these, with the heavenly messengers, uh, to, uh, our principle, our biblical principle is to explain the difference that faith in the Lord makes when you're first facing uncertainty. And then our daily application is to memorize one or more scriptures, scriptural passages that provide a personal sense of God's presence and assurance during the time when um, the future looks uncertain. Uh, as a child, I heard a song that says, just a little talk with Jesus will make it all right. So have a little talk with Jesus. We'll make everything all right. He And then, you know, the theology of it was, you know, uh, they taught us that Jesus may not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. And so we have to learn to, 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 to have faith in God, to trust him that he will be there with us each and every step of the way, no matter how difficult the times are. Uh, so this lesson, this lesson, as you know, we've been walking through Daniel for the, for the last couple of weeks. And um, um, Daniel on last week, he, he began to pray and uh, he lifted up a prayer and, 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 um, we looked at it from the standpoint of Daniel having a, um, oh, Lord, have mercy. Memory is messing with me this morning. Um, Daniel having a, a, a prayer of obedience because he was praying for uh, his sins and, and the sins of his people. And, and he had a, had a deep, deep, deep prayer session with God. 
Well, today we pick it up again in another time when Daniel was praying because God had told him the future of, of his people and what was going to happen to Jerusalem. And this, as you know, I, I told you this before about Daniel. Daniel can be broken up into two 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 different sections. One section, the first six chapters of Daniel is dealing with the the uh, uh, the court, if you will, the things hang of him and his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three Hebrew boys, being around the court of the king and all the things that happened to them. And then the second part of, of Daniel chapter seven, all the way to 12 is dealing with the, the, uh, 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 prophecy, if you will, Daniel's visions and, and those visions are a series of apocalyptic, uh, visions, meaning that they were in time visions, visions of destruction. Uh, some happen, uh, have already happened. Let me say it that way. And some are yet to happen. And so, um, Daniel, Daniel in, in this chapter, uh, 10, uh, he is fasting and he is praying. The first part of the chapter talks about the fact that, that he was fasting and praying morning for three full weeks and, and he didn't eat anything, didn't, didn't take any food or, or, or drink any wine during this time. As, as, and, and now, um, he, he was having this vision and he was sitting by the river, the river called, uh, the, the Tigris river, Tigris river. And, and, um, he looked up and he had a vision. And in his vision, and I'm around the fifth chap, fifth verse of the chapter, in his vision, he, he, he saw a man clothed in linen whose waist was girded with the gold of topaz. His body was like berry. His face was like the appearance of lightning. His eyes like torches of fire, his arms and feet like bruised bronze in color, and the sound of his words was like the voice of a multitude. So he had a vision of, of seeing Jesus Christ. If you compare uh, 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 his vision in, in, verse, in, in verse 6 with uh, 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 John's vision or in chapter one of Revelation, you'll see the similarities in in, in 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 the vision of seeing the Son of Man. Oh, hallelujah! And so this this was the vision Daniel was having, and and when he had this vision, there were others around him. They couldn't see what he was seeing. They did. They didn't understand what he was saying, but they knew something was going on, and they ran away in fear. And and, and when all of this happened, Daniel, Daniel, what became afraid, and he became real frail himself. It's it just something about being in the presence of God like that that will cause one to fear because the, the 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 beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. And here Daniel was with with losing all of his strength and all of his vigor because he has been fasting, he's been praying, and now God has visited him. Now at this point, at this point, after this this vision of, of, of the Lord, then uh, um, we in chapter in verse ten suddenly a hand touched him, and then this transfers from it being God or Jesus dealing with him, but it is an angel dealing with Daniel, and an angel most likely we believe the angel is Gabriel. And the angel is dealing with Daniel in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to say that again. The angel uh, Gabriel is now dealing with Daniel in the presence of the Lord. Now, 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 many theologians 
uh, the reason they, they take it from that standpoint is because we, we don't know, because we're going to talk about this fight that's going on in the heavenlies. We, we don't ever see Jesus fighting with demonic forces and needing help because Jesus don't have to do that kind of fighting. He's God and he's God all by himself. And, and so we see the angels doing the fighting with the other angels, the demonic angels. And we'll, we'll get into that here in a minute. And I hope that's helping someone because as I was studying this, I'm like, okay, God, I got to understand this. You know, give me an understanding. It's like, no, these, these are my angels talking and, 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 and touching him, uh, in the presence of Jesus Christ, my Lord. So that, that's, that's how I want to approach this. And so when we break this lesson down, as we get ready to get into the verses, uh, of, of, of the concentration for the Sunday school lesson, we can look at this lesson from faith, um, relieves fear, faith relieves fear. And then the next portion we're going to look at is faith welcomes the future. And then the last portion we're going to look at is faith receives strength. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. And, and um, my mind is, is having me search for something right now. So I said I got to bring that up because I didn't put it in my notes. So I'm going to bring up my lesson from, from last week because I got my acronyms for, for faith and I got my acronyms for, for fear. And uh, I want to bring them up real quick, if my computer allows me. Uh, faith is, is, oh, Lord, have mercy. I tell you, my mind this morning, y'all, <laughs> I can't recall the things I need to recall here. Um, oh, man. Oh, it still ain't coming to my mind, I tell you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God for a clear mind this morning and, and technology that works to allow me to do what I need to do here. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, so let, let me just go on. Let me read the verses first. We're going to look at verses 10 and 11. I mean, uh, yeah, verses 10 through through 12. 10, 10, no, verses 10 and 11, excuse me. So let's read those verses from the New King James Version of the Bible. It says, suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hands. And he said to me, O Daniel, man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright. For I am now being sent to you. While he was speaking uh, this word to me, I stood trembling. I stood trembling. And so here Daniel is being touched by this angel after he had fell down on his face and, and had his face to the ground. The angel touched him and, 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 and that made him tremble. That made him tremble. And as I was just saying, faith, and I mean not faith, but fear is, is the beginning of wisdom. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And so here he has fear. He's trembling now. And and and, and the acronym for fear, that's what I was trying to pull up, is is false evidence appearing real. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And, 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 and in his fear, he, he, he didn't know what was going on. And, and it just, just made him tremble. His fear was overtaking him. Whereas when you have faith, faith, the acronym is forsaking all, I trust him. Forsaking all, I trust him. And so here it was that Daniel was, 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 was fearful but yet his faith relieved his fear. His faith relieved his fear. And then he started, he stood up. 
He stood up, even though he was trembling, he stood up because the touch of the angel gave him the strength to stand up. Oh, hallelujah. Gave him the strength to stand up. And, and, and so what we have to realize is that when we are, are, are communicating with God, God will give us a command to do. When he, when we talking to him, he's going to talk back to us. When we, when we are, are humbled and we listening for his word, his word will come to us. When we humble ourselves and, 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 and put ourselves in a position to hear from God as Daniel did by praying and fasting. When we get into that, 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 that mode, we, we will hear from God and he will give us a commandment that will strengthen us, that will lead us, that will guide us. And so the Lord gave command and that command Daniel heard and he heard it and, and his faith was strengthened, which relieved his fear. Part of our problem, part of our problem today is that many of us don't sit quietly, reverently, and wait to hear from the Lord. We, we, don't, we don't take the time to just listen to the Lord. And, 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 and many a times, the reason we don't do it is because we're distracted. Our focus is off. We, we, we're looking at our problem instead of looking at our provider. We, 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 we're so busy being distracted by all the things that's going around us instead of focusing in on the one who can solve everything because he's the answer to everything. And Daniel, he took that time through prayer, through fasting, and, and, and just, just sitting in the presence of the Lord. And his faith was relieved. I mean, his faith relieved his fear because he trusted God. God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I trust you. I trust you. I trust you, God. I don't know how I'm going to handle this, Lord, but I trust you, God. I don't I don't know. This pain is so, so it hurts so bad, but I trust you, God. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. All this situation is, is just overwhelming, God, but I trust you. I trust you. And he heard a word from the Lord. In this case, the angel was sent and touched him and made him stand up. So now, next portion is, is verses 12 through to 14. 12 through 14 says this. Then he said to me, listen, listen to this now. This is the angel speaking to Daniel. Do not fear. Oh, hallelujah. Stop being scared. Now, now. I don't know about you. That's, that's some blessed assurance. That's some blessed assurance. When, 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 when God knows where you are, he knows exactly where you are. And he's sending word after word after word to calm your fears, to, 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 to get you stabilized, to, to help you to understand that he, no matter what, has everything under control. Do not fear, Daniel, he says in verse 12. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. Your words were heard, he says. And I have Come because of your word. Now, now, let me stop right there because when I go to the next verse, verse 13 and 14, it's, it, it's powerful. Wow. Listen to what he said. When you started praying, when you humbled yourself, when you set your heart to understand and humble yourself before God, your words were heard. Now, if I don't know if you caught that, 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 that means to me that, that, that we have to humble ourselves. 
We have to set our hearts and our focus in on God, believing that he hears our prayers. These are not these wishes, but real prayer into God, prayer to God. And so he prayed, humbled himself, and believed. And it says, your word, your words were heard. And I have come because of your words. Now, listen to verses 13 and 14. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withheld me 21 days. And behold, Micah, one of the chief priests, chief princesses, came to help me for I had been left alone there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to you and your people in the latter days for the vision refers to many days yet to come. Okay. Daniel prayed. God heard his prayer dispatched out the angel we believe to be Gabriel to bring an understanding to Daniel because that's what he was praying for, to understand what was going on. But on his way there, it says, the prince of the kingdom of Persia this prince is a demonic angel who is controlling the territory of Persia. And this demonic angel withstood, meaning that he fought the, 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 the angel Gabriel, who we believe is Gabriel in this, and stopped him from getting there for 12, I mean, for 21 days. What does this tell us? This tells us that, 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 that there are demonic forces who have territory. The demonic forces have, have, have regions that they, they control and, and, and nations and, and people that they control. And, and, and so when they have these territories that they control, God puts people like you and I who are like Daniel in those areas that we might pray. And as our prayers go up, God sends blessings down. Oh, this is for the prayer warriors. This is for the intercessors. Don't, don't stop praying. Don't give up hope. Thinking that all hope is gone. Like the, like the world is going to hell in a handbasket. God has given you a territory where you can pray. Those things that come on your heart. Those things that come up in your mind. Those things that your eyes see. And you want to do something about them. Well, the best thing you can do is to pray to God. And as you pray to God, he will lead and guide you and direct you to the next step. But don't stop praying. Don't ever stop lifting up that situation to God. Oh, you know, say, what are you talking about, preacher? What, what are you talking about? You, you know that, 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 that we have a drug addiction problem and an alcohol problem and, and violent problems all in our community. We know we got problems with the police in our community. We know that racism and prejudice is, is raising this ugly head in America right now. Oh, you want to be praying that God will make a change. And then we know that, that greed is, is everywhere. And, and, and people with their greed and their lust and their, 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 their all this, this, the Me Too movement with, with women being abused and, and men being abused 
All of these people, these are nothing but demonic spirits. Are we praying for our children? That they get an education? Are we praying that, 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 that monies will be available? And not just sitting in banks that, that, that people can, can get an education and they can learn and they can get a trade and then they can share and raise their families. Have health care and all of that kind of stuff. Why we got to fight so many wars? Why can't we all just get along? Are, they, are you praying for that? Why, why we got so many men in prison? Why we got so many women raising their children without a man? Oh, hallelujah. Why are marriages breaking up? Divorce rate is high. Are you praying about those things? Because there are demonic forces that are actively working behind the scenes to make sure all that stuff continues on. But I, I tell you, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And we got to continue to pray. And as long as we're praying, God hears our prayer. And he's dispatching out his angels to work miracles all throughout the land. Oh, hallelujah. I'm so glad that he that is in us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is greater than he that is in the world. I'm so glad that the prayers of the righteous do availeth much. I'm so glad that nothing and no one and nothing can stop the will of God. And so, as Gabriel was, was the angel was trying to get to Daniel and the Prince of Persia couldn't, couldn't, was stop, trying to stop him. God sent Michael, the chief angel in heaven. And Michael defeated him. And, and, and now, in verse 14, Gabriel makes it there. And he says, now I've come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the latter days for the vision, for the vision reference to many days yet to come. And so, Dan, I mean, Gabriel came and told Daniel, yes, your vision of what is going to happen, what is going to happen to your people. Yes, those are going, those things are going to happen. But then you're going to, you have another vision of things that's going to happen way up in the future. And so our faith must welcome the future. Our faith will give us the strength we need to continue on this walk with God. Oh, hallelujah. Because we trust him and we're praying. Let's go to our last two verses, three verses, four verses rather. Verse 15. Faith receives his strength. So it says, when he has spoken such words to me, I turned my face towards the ground and became speechless. And suddenly, one having the likeness of the Son of Man touched my lips. Then I opened my mouth and spoke, saying to him, and stood before that who stood before me, my Lord. Because of your of, of the because of the vision, my sorrow has overwhelmed me, and I have and I have retained no strength. For 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 how can this servant of my Lord talk with you, my Lord? As as for me, no strength remains in me now, nor is my breath. Left, no, nor is any breath left in me. Then, then again, the one having the likeness of man touched me and strengthened me. And he said, oh, man, greatly beloved, fear not. 
Peace be to you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. So when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, let my Lord speak for you have strengthened me. Now, now, I, I got to go back to this. I got to go back to this before I get into the text. Um, uh, um, some, some, if you, you heard me say my Lord several times, some theologians believe He's talking to the angel and the angel is touching him. Other theologians believe that he's talking to Jesus at this point and Jesus is the one touching him. I, I'm on that side. I'm on that side. This went from being an angel to, to Daniel conversation to now the Lord. Jesus is now talking to him. And so it is Jesus that is now strengthening him. And he says to Jesus, you know, look, I, I, this vision that I've had is just overwhelming. All I'm seeing is doom and destruction. I don't understand God. And the Lord said to him, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The Lord touched him. Touched his lips. And when he touched his lips, he could open his mouth and he could begin to talk. He was in the presence of God. And, and, and the presence of God was overwhelming to him. He couldn't speak. The whole situation, the God being there, the, the, the vision and all of this was just overwhelming. I'm talking to some prayer warriors. I'm talking to some folks that, that's been down on their knees, crying out to the Lord over their loved ones, over, over their situations, over their circumstances. I'm talking to somebody that, that, that really been, been so so deep in the prayer that it just looked like, like, Lord, you, you just like, Lord, I just don't know what I'm going to do. How is this going to work out? But the Lord is right there. That's that's why I like the, that, that it, 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 this is no longer an angel. It's the Lord himself. And he's touching Daniel, I'm trying to tell you something. God is right there with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And he's touching him. And he's touching him. And he's telling him, it's going to be all right. And he says to him, peace be unto you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. When you got faith in God, he will give you strength. Strength to carry on. Even in the midst of your storm. Strength to hold on when it looks like all hope is gone. Strength that'll keep you going. Yes. And you can truly sing that song. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. See, you, 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 you get that understanding that God has you on Christ. The solid rock I stand. All of the ground is like sinking sand. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but I wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ. Hallelujah. The solid rock I stand. Oh, what a wonderful lesson about prayer. What a wonderful lesson about having faith to stay strong. What a wonderful lesson. Knowing that we have a God that rewards our fervent prayers. That, 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 that even though sometimes our prayers go up to God, but the answer is delayed. We know that delay is not denial. Oh, hallelujah. Continue, my brothers and my sisters, to, 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 to walk with the Lord, trust in him, and knowing that he will give you the strength you need, no matter what you're going through. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, 
Forgive us for those times we take your word for granted. May we be your instruments today to, 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 to just pray for those in our areas and those territories that you have assigned us to, to go out and give your word. To give people your word, God, with the power and the strength that we need to give your word. And then, Lord, when we got to wait on you, don't let us get afraid. But help us, Lord, to just trust in your unchanging hands. Because you said you'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. We love you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I thought to remember, it says prayer changes things. But, but I know not only does prayer change things, prayer changes us. Before I close this recording on Facebook and, and even on our conference call, I'm not gonna, we're going to go into a conference call moment. Uh, I like to pray the prayer of salvation. Um, let us pray. Dear Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and that God raised him from the dead. Please, Lord, come into our hearts and forgive us of all of our sins and our shortcomings. We invite you, Jesus, to become the Lord of our life, to rule and to reign in our heart from this day forward. Please, Lord, send your Holy Spirit to help us obey you and to do your will for the rest of our life. In Jesus' name I pray, we pray, amen. You prayed that prayer and truly believe in your heart. You are now saved. And God will be with you each and every moment of your life. For those of you who are on Facebook with us, and want to join us in the conference call where we have comments, questions, and prayer time. Our number is 619-639-4733. Again, the number for Get em Radio is 619-639-4733. Facebook, be blessed and always be a blessing.